Okay, the sun's finally starting to get behind the buildings so that I can get a little bit more cooler temperatures out here. I thought I'd come out and see. Here's my beautiful potato plants, and I'm sure there's some potatoes down here. But I've actually got spots that I can pick that are from better and let these ones grow a little bit more. So what I'm actually here for is some radishes. Well, while this box looks like it's cabbage and sugar snap peas, every one of these sugar snap peas and these cabbages are volunteers. This was originally my potato box. And I'm pretty sure if I just grab my hand in like where this weed is and pull that weed out. Actually, let me grab off the hoary here. I just kind of dig down for a second. Yep. I'm pretty guaranteed to find some potatoes. There's a nice little red one. And a couple more red ones. Okay, well that's enough for me guaranteed, but just in case the wife comes out and joins me, let's get a couple more. Okay, that little pile of potatoes plus the pile of radishes. We'll probably go cut some leek stock, throw that in there, and uh, just see where we go from there. All right. Okay, there's the fresh potatoes peeled by hand out of the garden, no knife. Fresh uh, radish, and that's leek stock is the green matter you're seeing in there, so it will give it a nice oniony flavor. And of course, I'm going to pour some minced garlic over this. And then I'm going to bake it at the fire just like a baked potato until it cooks down. Then in the last few minutes, I'll add some butter and a little bit of seawater because I still haven't made sea salt yet to give it that salty flavor. All right, guys. And let's see if we can get this fire going. Grass is quick to flame, but it's also quick to go out, unfortunately. So hopefully, some of these light pieces of wood I've got on there will take. And if not, hopefully this cardboard box will. So there it is, folks. As you notice, I didn't actually put it in the fire. I put it in front of the fire and kind of have the fire cuddled around it. And uh, we'll see how long this takes. We're going to let it go probably a half hour at least before we even check it. Okay, folks, I'm giving you the first peek just like I'm getting. No prep at all. This is how it looks coming out of the fire. I can definitely see a little bit of this white ash that is definitely from the fire. That's going to be a problem to clean off. 
But other than that, everything looks nice and roasted. Let's see the poke test all the way through. Nice and easy. Smells good. Smells like roasted garlic. Okay, well, I'm going to find a plate. Plate this out and uh, add some butter and get to it. So this will probably be the last shot of it. I know I should probably give you a shot once it's all fancy and plated, but it's getting dark. And by the time I get butter on it, there won't be any light to see. So this is going to be probably the last shot of the evening. I thank you all for joining us here on this uh, 13th day. Friday the 13th. It's not Friday the 13th, but it's Friday the 13th day. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow is going to be a very interesting day where we harvest a lot of rabbits, depending on how many people show up. So the more people that show up, the more rabbits we'll harvest. And uh, I think that's about it, folks. So remember, if we all gave up our lawns for gardens, There'd be no more hunger.